Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learning Math with Shelly. In this video, we are going to work on comparing fractions with pants and t-shirts part 2. If you see here, I have shown two fractions, one third and one quarter and we are supposed to compare them. Means which one of these fraction is the larger or which one of these two fraction is the smaller one. What do I notice that the denominators given here the number 3 and 4 they are different but on the top the numbers are same. Let's go to our next slide. So we have this problem here. Lauren is making salad dressing. She uses one quarter of a cup of vinegar and one third of a cup of olive oil. Does Lauren use less vinegar or olive oil? So this is our target today to solve this question. Let's see the next slide. For understanding the concept of comparing fractions for this part 2, we should understand what is a numerator, what is a denominator and how to write a fraction. And I hope you all understand this part. Next, we can see here, there are three different colored t-shirts and three trousers. Now we have this case too of comparing the fractions. What do we notice here? That the t-shirts which are wearing on the top, they are same. And the trousers which are wearing down, they are different. So this is the case that in fractions we have a number on the top and we have a number at the bottom. So the numbers on the top are same. That is the case we are discussing. So the t-shirt's color is same here. The numerators are same. Both are on the top. Whereas the pants colors are different and so is the denominators in our this word, this problem. So they are different. So we are discussing a case when the numerator is same but denominator is different. So this is the case. Numerator same, denominators different. You can note it down please. Now let's read a story together for the firm understanding. So once in a family get together, Sam found different sized pizza. I think Sam is a lover of pizza. Some pizza had three slices, some pizza had seven and even some had eight slices. Alright, so here is Sam and these are the different pizzas. If I see this pizza, it has been divided into two parts or two slices. Mmm, big slices. Here, the same pizza has been cut into three parts or three slices. In the next one, the pizza has been divided into seven slices. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And in the next one, this pizza has been divided into eight slices. Now, let's see what happens next. Okay, now four gets arrived and they had one slice from one type of pizza. So here you go. This pizza, one slice has been eaten. So that is highlighted with red color. Here in this pizza which is having eight parts, one slice has been eaten. In the, this next pizza, again one slice has been eaten. And this last option for the pizza, again one slice has been eaten. Who has eaten the most? I can see this one is the lucky one who got this much big slice. Mm. So what I am going to do here, we have written all of these as fractions. Here we how to write the fractions. Let's check that. We have to write the fraction of the pizza eaten. So here one part is eaten. So one part is eaten. That means that is our numerator. And out of three total parts. So that three will go in the denominator. The total number of slices. 
that will be the denominator in the next one we had total eight slices the whole pizza has been divided into eight slices so here is eight and the guest has eaten only the one part so that is one out of eight fraction of eaten pizza how many slices are eaten we are writing that fraction in the next one again one slice has been eaten out of seven slices and the last one again one slice has been eaten out of the total two slices again we are interested in finding the fraction of slices eaten okay now let's go to the next so here we have arranged them like okay one is one eighth one seventh one third and one half this is a way to say these fractions now arrange all the fractions eaten from the smallest to the largest when i see all of these i found this area this pizza area this slice is the smallest one and i write the fraction of eaten slice here that is 1 out of 8 then i found 1 seventh is this one here this area or this slice size is bigger than the previous one then I found one third. The size of this slice, one third slice here, is quite bigger than the previous two. Hmm, the luckiest one who ate this much big slice of pizza, though it is only one slice, but out of two. What do you all notice? So, what did we notice over here? We have one eighth, one seventh, one third, and one half. See, all the numerators are same. When we are writing these fractions, all the numerators are same. But I observed something. If I divided my pizza into eight slices, then one slice is very small. If I divide this pizza into seven slices, slice one slice size is a bit bigger than the previous one and if i made only three parts of my whole pizza the one slice is quite bigger than the previous two and in the last one if i made only two slices of my whole pizza then one out of them is quite quite bigger than the all other three cases so what do i observe the denominator is higher but the fraction of eaten part is small so what i can conclude over here all the numerators are same this is the first thing i have noticed and what is the second thing ha bigger the denominator or higher the denominator out of 8 7 3 and 2 8 is the highest value bigger the denominator smaller the fraction because we are finding the amount fraction of the slices eaten so one slice is eaten but this is very small if the denominator is too big okay and if denominator is divided into seven parts it is a little bit bigger than this one and so on so what is the conclusion keeping the numerator same this is very important fact Keeping the numerator same, higher the denominator, smaller the fraction will be. So, denominator and fraction, they opposite to each other. Now, let's say we have two fractions here. One is one third and one is one quarter. Let me write it. This is one quarter. Which one of these is one third? one third is matching with this one because here the denominator is three so here we have three parts one this one is two and this one is three so the pizza is divided into or you can say this circle is divided into three parts and that total number of parts go in the denominator and one part is shaded and in the second one we have one quarter so the thing should be the circle should be divided into four parts one two then we have three and the last one we have is 
four. So total four parts and out of them one is shaded. Again, what do I observe? One third, the pizza, this circle is divided into three parts. So each part is a little bigger as compared to when I divide the same circle into four parts. Higher the denominator, keeping the numerator same, higher the denominator, so here 4 is the denominator which is higher, smaller the fraction. So that means 1 quarter is smaller than 1 third, which is very clear from here. So now we should be able to answer the questions based on the drawing. Circle the fractions that are greater. Here is 1 third and here is 1 quarter. You can see from these diagrams, one third is uh, bigger than one quarter. And on the other hand, we can say higher the denominator, smaller is the fraction. So which one is the greater fraction? One third. Second question is, this is one half and this is one third. If I just look at the pictures, I can see one half looks bigger than one third. And on the other hand, smaller the denominator, higher the fraction. So this fraction will be higher. In the next case, we have two quarters and two thirds. Again, the numerators are same, two and two. But higher the denominator, smaller the fraction. So the bigger fraction will be two-third. And in our last question here, we have two-tenth and two-fifth. Again, the numerators are same. This is the most important condition. If the denominators are same, higher the denominator, if the numerators are same, higher the denominator, here lower the fraction so this is the lower fraction this fraction is bigger and also it is clear from the picture itself so as many parts you will make for the given shape or given thing slices anything you can say like that then lower will be that fraction it keeps going on lower end now this is the practice for you you have to do these questions and if you have any doubt, you can ask me. So again, with is the conclusion, keeping the numerator same, higher the denominator, smaller the fraction will be. Now we come back to our word problem once again. Lauren is making a salad dressing. She uses one quarter a cup of vinegar. So this is vinegar and one third of a cup of olive oil so which uh, do, does lauren use less vinegar or olive oil here the numerators are same now higher the denominator lower the fraction so we can say one quarter is less than one third. So one, th one quarter is vinegar. So Lauren uses vinegar as less as compared to olive oil. Or we can say Lauren uses less vinegar as compared to the olive oil. The way the question is being asked, they are asking about a less. So we have to answer in the same format. I hope this video, you like this video. Please, if you like this video, then subscribe my channel, like and share. Thank you.